we're going to look at semicolon usage in punctuation and using the semicolon properly. The semicolon is placed between two independent clauses. It shows a close relationship between thoughts expressed. So it's, it's like two different sentences, two independent clauses, but the ideas are closely related. For instance, I like pizza, semicolon, I play road hockey. Those are two totally unrelated ideas, so you couldn't use a semicolon there. The correct use would be I like pizza, semicolon, double cheese and mushroom are my favorite toppings. The two sentences are related, so the semicolon is appropriately used there. Whenever you see these special transitional words, about 99% of the time, that's my average, I would say that before them you should have a semicolon or a period and after them you need a comma. Consequently, furthermore, therefore, besides, in fact, nevertheless, however, for example, moreover, any of those type of words that show a transition, they have a semicolon in front of them and a comma after them. An incorrect use would be here. I wanted to watch the tiger dance, comma, however it was too late. That's a comma splice. That's using a comma where you really need a semicolon. To correct it, you would put, I wanted to watch the tiger dance, semicolon, however, comma, it was too late. Here's one to practice. He daydreamed about polynomials. He fantasized about ratio equations. Where would you put the punctuation there? That's right, if you put it after polynomials, you got it correct. It is a complete thought. He daydreamed about polynomials, so a semicolon would go there. He fantasized about ratio equations. First year students have to adjust their new challenges to new challenges of studying, writing tests, juggling work schedules, just some of them. Okay, this semicolon is in the wrong spot. Where would you put it? You would put it after challenges, the first sentence. First year students have to adjust to their new challenges, semicolon, Studying, writing tests, and juggling work schedules are just some of them. I want you to compose a sentence showing the proper use of a semicolon. Sometimes there are special cases, and that sentence that you composed in the last frame, uh, if you're not sure if it's okay, send it to your professor and let her take a look at it, and she will let you know if, if you've used it correctly. Sometimes uh, semicolons are used to separate items in a list. Let's see if you can guess why. Look at this sentence. A few items are necessary, colon, matches to start a fire, semicolon, an axe or hatchet to cut wood, semicolon, cooking utensils and eating implements, semicolon, and comma, of course, comma, the food itself. Can you guess why we're using semicolons instead of commas to separate items in a list? Well, the reason is there are commas within the list of items. If we look back at that frame, there are commas here within the list. Therefore, semicolons would be used to separate the items. Here's a final practice for you, and it's a little bit challenging, but we'll, you give it a try. Generally speaking, there are no new ideas, but ones that have been circulating since the dawn of civilization. Some have been forgotten, some have been examined, most have not been explored. Where would you put the punctuation? <laughs>